Walt asked for special goodies from Mr. John Berkey. And now your host, here's Johnny. Yeah, we have a variety show. We're going to feature the talent of, um, what happened to this chord? We're going to feature the talent of WCHS Today staff. <laughs> we hope it doesn't figure that. <laughs> but it might, you never know. Um, Jim, Bob. No, it's oh, Jim. Jim. Uh, from the South, it could be Jim Bob or Jim Joe or mm. Billy Joe or something like that. Yeah. How, are, how are you doing tonight? Pretty good. How's the, how's the band doing tonight? Enthusiastic crowd tonight for snowy evening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna be talking to some of the band. How many features do you have? Two, three, two, four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> every every song you've ever learned, beginning with uh, what was the first song they've ever learned? No, we're not gonna. Oh, I don't know. Uh, we're not gonna get into that again. That's from last year. And we just have all kinds of uh, great stuff. Think, we're gonna man. do know your band tonight, right? Yeah, we're doing. Uh, we're gonna know the whole band by the end. Yeah, we're gonna, yeah, what we didn't tell you is we were going to do Know Your Band four times. Um, well, you're going to tangle this cord up. Anyway, we're going to have mosey on over here. Tom, how are you doing tonight? Pretty good. Hmm? What's been happening in uh, in your week? My week? Yeah. Not much. Well, that's, yeah, I'll get four cards. How'd you do? <clears throat> well, um, I did. Depends if my parents are watching. Well, I mean, they saw your four card. I mean... Or did they? Yeah, they did. <laughs> or didn't you tell Mon they came out yet? <laughs> no. Well, there was a little delay at ICC. And, uh, no, they came out. And I won't be doing anything for a few years. But, you know, Is that just not very good or what? Yeah, I got a B. Is yeah. that grounds for uh, grounding at your house? <laughs> it is? No. Okay. Well, we don't need to get into that. Anyway, we got all kinds of got all kinds of fun things here. But first of all, we're going to... Uh, do something I know you all always enjoy, and that's uh, what's on the other stations. I couldn't think <laughs> I couldn't think of a better night to do this. I mean, you know, with all just since everybody's in such a festive spirit. Yeah, what happened? I have, uh, <clears throat> of course, our TV guide right here, and well, we got there are some good. I was looking at this earlier. We there's some really super shows on opposite us tonight. In fact, you may just want to turn your set over. All right. <laughs> um. How about Channel 19? We'll start right there. We'll, uh, they have the ABC movie of the week on right now, and guess what the name of it is? It's called Rocky 13. Um, now, wait, we have a plot synopsis here. Rocky Balboa is now 63 years old and has defended his heavyweight title successfully for the 109th time. Now, of course, he's tired of easy victories, so he decides to go on a rigorous diet to lose 50 pounds and enter the welterweight division where Rufus, the human... Piranha has challenged him to a title match. <coughs> it's the movie of the week. I, th I think, in fact, I think that's three hours. They're gonna they're gonna run late with that movie tonight. It's, yeah, they're even gonna they're even gonna bump the news for that one. Um, on Channel 31, there's a special on uh, Channel 31 where, where we're going tomorrow night. Um, the, uh, the yeah, it was it was fun one. Anyway, the special is called Alan Alan Alda's One Man Show. Alan Singh. <laughs> it's going to be what happens here. Alan sings, dances, reads from his own works, and proves once again what a nice, mature, liberated man he is. It's the Alan Alda special. Um, on Channel 25, um, I know, I nobody's turning the sets now. This stuff really isn't that good. Channel 25, we have a show called uh, Pretty Girls with Almost Nothing On. What's your um, Channel 25. Channel 25, but we're... There is a synopsis there. We won't go into that. <coughs> right now on uh, TBS is a uh, movie called Attack. Yeah. It's called Indian. Attack of the... We'll get to that. It's called Attack of the Paperbacks. Um, mass market paperback books are afflicted by nuclear radiation and begin attacking their readers. <laughs> Attack of the... Pa yeah, Mr. Agemeyer, put that paperback. Put that... He's got reading his tasteless joke book. I know. Better put that down. Um, on Channel 9 right now, there's a... Uh, I guess it's a movie. It's called A New Pancreas for Jamie. It's a heartwarming, moving story of seven-year-old Jamie Jeters who received... <laughs> just let me get through this. 
Wait, now this is the heartwarming story of a seven-year-old, Jamie Jeters, who received the first... Jamie Jeters, yeah, yeah. Who received the first pancreas transplant and lived to see a performance of the Ringling Brothers Circus. There's only one more, there's only one other station left. So. Um, there's a, uh, oh, a movie on now called uh, Teacher's Pet. The synopsis is a young, beautiful biology teacher falls in love with a frog, believing that is an enchanted and will turn into a prince. Features adult language and anatomical references. Now, this movie stars uh, stars Mrs. Tunt as the biology teacher, so that's going to be. Uh, <laughs> and uh, I think uh, Mr. Necris plays the frog, but that's just what, just what, just, just what we what we hear in here. Um, and on Channel 5, we're on right now, but right after this, there's a, uh, a movie on called Aggie. Now, you, you saw us do that book Did last week. Charlie? They've already made, <laughs> they've already made a, a tele television movie. In fact, it's a $50 million movie project. This is big bucks, bigger than Star Wars, and it's adapted from the book. The screenplay uh, for the movie was written by Mr. Woodward, and we can uh, assure you, star? we can he's assure he's star, you, um, I think uh, Mr. Egemeyer is playing himself his first acting job. Are we going to get some clips from it? Um, we'll show you clips next week, um, but I can assure you there'll be no adult language or anything like that. The, is his wife going to be on it? Um, I'm not sure. I, I I don't know. I don't know if it gets to the later years. I think it's just Aggie the early years tonight, and I I think they're going to show it. I think they're going to show it in segments because they want to. You always want to leave the audience wanting more, and with Aggie they always want more. <laughs> that didn't come. Um, by the way, Mr. Egemeyer is going to be on their show in Wait. two weeks. Hey, all right. So it's only. Uh, yeah. I think, um, only you're going to be gone tonight. No, there's only only two more weeks, and Mr. Egemeyer is going to come out here in person. I think he's going to bring uh, I don't know who he's bringing. He's bringing one of the kids with him that uh, works down there, and they're going to talk about they're they're starting a new show that's that's like ours. <laughs> now remember, that, we had it first. Yeah. The one where they switched sides. Really. What? Yeah, it's it's <laughs> really, <laughs> really an ingenious process. But no, in any way, they're going to they're copying us, and you know you know what they always say. You know, if you're copying something, it must be pretty good. So. Um, I don't think they said that. <coughs> they did. Uh, what do we have? We're gonna talk. We're supposed to talk to you about uh, what wrestling tonight. Yeah, I guess. I you're a. Uh, no, you're a, you're a wrestler. We thought we would uh, talk well, about wrestling. How's the wrestling season been this year? Well, it's been better than the last couple of years. For you or for everybody? For everybody. How so? Well, you've been winning. The last two years, we won three meets all together, and this year we've won six. I think. It's an improvement. Yeah. Have you uh, more than the basketball team has? How have uh, <laughs> so, Mr. Doty? <laughs> how have uh, <laughs> how have we been? How have you been doing personally? I'm about the same as the team. So you what one? About six or seven. No. What's he not telling? Mm -hmm. Tell me. We want to know. America wants to know. Okay, then don't tell me. Oh no. Okay. okay. I'll you can tell me later, huh? Can you tell me later? I'll tell you. Later. Okay, but not on the air, huh? All right. Well, that's the way it goes. I don't so, think uh, it's suitable. For well, tell us a little bit uh, about the wrestling team. What there is to tell us. How many uh, members are there this year? Well, we had a lot of freshmen coming out this year. And we got we got about twelve people varsity, but we have a lot of freshmen and sophomores filling spots and. We got quite a few sophomore freshmen, so next year we'll have a pretty good in the event. So next year it's even going to be better. You'll be back next year while you're wrestling. Yeah. Again. Yeah. All right. Um, so the wrestling team should be even getting better and win maybe more than six next year. Oh yeah. And, <laughs> and you're going to you're going to uh, be, you're going to be leading the team. He's not doing it on me. You get up here and get, let him take you down. <laughs> let him drop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the keys would really be clanking then, huh? The whole <laughs> you know what I've always wondered is is why I'm not I've really just, dressed for. It. I've I've always wondered why Mr. Woodward wears his keys when he's not at school. I mean, I've seen him like on Saturday and he's like, wearing his keys. See, <laughs> it makes him feel important, right? Actually, it's supposed to mean a sign of Get you confidence. If you wear have to wear a key, I'm serious. Though. No, that's you know you know I heard that once that if uh, that. that if you're really important, you only have to wear one key. <coughs> you don't have no, many keys. You have people do. It that's true. Yeah, or, or you have one master key that lets you into everything. But, See, if, but the more keys, keys you wear, it really does. It really is an a status symbol. 
So, Mr. Woodward, uh, <laughs> he trucks around with all his keys, thinking he's... Uh, How many keys do you have? Lots. 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 Billions and billions of keys. He doesn't have that many keys, he just makes doubles of them. <laughs> <laughs> he just, yeah. He's got, he's got ten keys to his car on his... Uh, yeah, Ken has quite a few keys. <laughs> oh, yeah? The news wire is running. What? The news wire? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, backstage here are... Mm -hmm. Our news department is now getting in a wire, probably, um, from what foreign city is our wire from? It doesn't say it's instant. Instant. News flash. AP Instant Newsline. Dennis Agemeyer has been kidnapped. Now, Details, wait, m wait, more is coming in on the wire, but boy, I hope they find him before he's scheduled to be on the show. Well, personally, he, uh, well, I certainly hope so. We got him. this, what, something, something more coming in. I just, I love this, this, this instant news. How much did we pay for this news service? Lots. How much, <laughs> yeah. How much did that lot. typewriter in the back cost? <laughs> cost lots of money. Yeah, Fred is, Fred's gone. Fred, Fred died, but I was, I was glad Fred finally, uh, <laughs> I'm glad Fred finally got out of here. So uh, tell us about the personal Tom Fishbach, aside from wrestling. You, do you do anything else ever Never. besides wrestle? All I do is okay. wrestle. Glad to hear it. Um, how's, how's your girl down in uh, Well, see. Tammy. Why we, know her name? Is. We your girl. Really? Yeah, I'm Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. That's all right. I'm sorry. I'm free know. for any women. Uh, I didn't know. Do you want to talk about it? No. Not on television. Not on television. I'll get it. Oh. Telephone. Mr. Agamar. <laughs> what? Oh. Hello. Uh, hello, Mr. Agamar. Mr. Agamar, uh, how are you? Fine. Right. I'm Wait. We just got a, Yeah, we just got the wire in uh, off our wire that you've been kidnapped. They want your your coffee. They want whose coffee? Your coffee. My, I don't drink coffee. You mean Mr. Woodward's seat? Yeah, yeah. Are, wait. Do you think these are the same kidnappers that kidnapped uh, that came to the show that one night and held us up? Uh, I don't know. Describe him, if you can. Yeah, Mr. Agamire, describe, uh, describe him. I can't. I Why? coffee gun on my head. A what? dust buster. <laughs> a dust buster. The kill, the killer Does he have one eyebrow? I think the killer... <laughs> I think the killer... Yeah. <laughs> I think the killer... What? Are, are, Mr. Agamire, are they going to attack you with a, uh, with a killer dust buster? Yeah, dust buster. <laughs> Why? This is probably the very same dust buster, you know, we heard about in the book last week. Yeah, wake, wake who? Well, Mr. Woodward's gonna 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 get in the van and uh, just <laughs> just <laughs> in the Woody mobile. I don't know where I am. How can you do that? Well, where are you, Mr. Agamire? I don't know. I mean, <laughs> if he ever knows. No, Mr. Agamire, where are you at? I heard that. No, Mr. Agamire, we're sorry. No, we realize this is a serious situation. What? Do you have any idea where they've got you kidnapped? Um, Channel Five. But Mr. Agamire, you work there. You, oh. you mean they just I they didn't they take you any place? You mean you're not kidnapped? <laughs> I guess not. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta go, John. Mr. Agemeyer, don't. Then no. Can we uh, confirm your reservations on the show, Mr. Agemeyer, for two yeah, weeks from I'm tonight? Really forward. Okay. What What do you plan on talking about? Just kind of your job, maybe. I'm sorry. Calling <laughs> contemporary disconnected. Mr. Agemeyer. <laughs> Mr. Agemeyer. Sorry, WCHS today to Aggie. Well, we'll, we'll try to reconnect you. Okay, all right. Well, we'll work on the phone later. <laughs> oh, Mr. Agamar, we love you. Okay. One of us. Kind of sifting through. Anyway, we have another... Uh, you're, really, you're really rambling on tonight, Don, aren't you? Yeah. No, we have Know Your Band tonight. We're not going to ramble anymore. We're going to... After let's, this, we're going to have Know Your Staff gonna... member. We are going to do Know Your Band. That's N-O Your Band. And we're doing John Stromberger. So, uh, John! John. Right him on over. <laughs> I like the way he says, man, stop. <laughs> no visual signals at all. John Stromberger, how are you tonight? You've never been uh, over here to the desk before, have you? No. Yeah. What's it like? It's Your very first experience. time. Now, you realize why you sit here. You're, you might, you know, you're going to have to reveal reveal details about your, your life, et cetera. I hope not. You hope not? Yeah. Um, what, what's it like being in the surgeons? It's fun sometimes. Sometimes. But there are those times when it's not? Yeah. What 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 kind of times are those? <laughs> Something you wouldn't want to talk yeah. about, or what? <laughs> There's everybody doesn't want to talk about anything tonight. I don't know what the, what.
What's going on? Now, how, you haven't been with the surgeons all well, year, have you? When did you join? What was it? About uh, the third or fourth show. I started being the drummer. Okay, so that, well, that was so you've been doing it what, quite a yeah. quite a long time then. It, but you say basically it's fun. Yeah, you learn the music. You learn the music. Mm -hmm. Do you feel you know the music? No. <laughs> did you learn it? <laughs> um, do, you, do you do you like have to go to practices and that kind of stuff? When. Well, he scheduled practices, but they usually get called off before yeah, they... Because nobody shows. I've heard about that. I was babysitting. <laughs> Everybody forgot that. I... Um, <laughs> in any case, um, well, I know the surgeons can't be a big part of your life. I mean, I, I, I mean, it's probably the most exciting part, but you, know, you must be involved in lots of other things, right? Yeah. Well, like what? That. Mm. Are you on Stats Crew? Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> like the guys we had on last week? Yeah. You didn't. Now you should have mentioned that last week. You were here last week, weren't you? You should have mentioned it. I mean, gee, we could we could have we could have talked to you too. Um, what's going on? I'm cleaning the window. I'm sorry. I'll put oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the show really needed that. <laughs> not, not, not if I throw things for the glass break. <laughs> Mr. Woodward, surprise! Um, where were we? We were on stats. We were talking about stats. We were talking about stats, yeah. Did, you're a freshman, so this has been your first year on stats. Did, yeah. did your j dad kind of help you get the job? Or? No, Mr. Reed asked me. Oh. I did the games in grade school for fun. Yeah, and so they were other, other connections. Mm -hmm. What's this um, about a dream you have, <laughs> or a pad or something? Uh, it's nothing. Nothing. It was nothing. a joke. It was. It was a joke. Yes, it was. Well, a no. Joke. It, no. What was her name? No. <laughs> well, we won't embarrass you. You don't. We, you don't. No. You don't want to talk about it. Uh -uh. My parents are watching. Your parents are watching. Mm -hmm. Well, hello, Mr. and Mrs. Strummer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I was, I'm sorry, I was told to ask you that. I, I, By Jim? I, I really can't reveal my story. I, I think it came off the wire, didn't it? John ask John Stromberger about dream. That was from Mr. Agemeyer. Did you tell Mr. Agemeyer about your dream? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Aggie, Aggie hotline. Um, I have a problem. Yeah, you just, just dial, uh, Still a pleasure, no? just dial 444 Aggie and you get, yeah, yeah, connected right through to Mr. Agemeyer. Oh, uh, hello, Channel 5. Dennis yeah, speaking. <laughs> um, what else are you involved in now besides stats? I, I guess from talking to the guys uh, last week, they, they, you know, they have to go to a lot of games, so that takes up a lot of time. But uh, you must do something else in life. I mean... Yeah, I'm in, Fr I was, I'm in French club. French? You take French? You know, I finally got out of French class. Really? Three and a half years I spent in that class. And, uh, well, actually two and a half, I guess. I was in my third year. I'll, t I'll tell you, I've... But I'm finally out of it. No more French. I forgot it all in a weekend. And we, you, you do that. You know, you, you'll, you'll remember it as long as you have to keep taking it. you remember it as long as you have to keep taking it. But the minute you... are you, How many years are you going to take? I, I'm not taking it next year. <clears throat> I don't think. Because I get driver's ed. So you're, just, you're quitting with one year? Ooh. Well, I might do it like junior or something. I don't know. Don't do that. So you get driver's ed next year. You excited about uh, learning how to drive? Yeah. Is your dad excited about you learning how to drive? <laughs> he was trying to get me out of taking it. Yeah. Oh, John, you don't uh, really need to take driver's ed now. We'll drive you any place you want to go. <laughs> what about Tom here? Has he got his license yet? Friday. You getting your license Friday? Hey, Coach, I might have to skip practice. He's going to skip practice just to get his license. Well, anything else you're involved in besides French Club? I mean, I, I used to be a French Club member <laughs> till till it bored me, so... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I know that doesn't take up that much time. No, it doesn't. So what else do you do? Uh, we're in weights for football now. You lift weights. So you play football? Yeah, Holy every shit. Monday and Wednesday. After so you're school. weight training for that already, huh? Mm-hmm. So how much can you uh, bench now? Not much. So you just kind of started. But do you think uh, by the time uh, football starts, you'll uh, be a big, mean fighting machine? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? Well, you hope so, don't I you? I hope so, yeah. You hope so. You're going to be a, one of the star uh, star players next year, do you think? Not next year. Well, we would we would just, it would really mean a lot to this show to have, you know, one of our one of our surgeons, you know, yeah. being a lead football star. I don't think we've ever had one. I don't think anybody here plays football. Um, but, Rob but it would, 
Rob does. Okay, I Rob. But you know, so that so that so that would be neat. Um, anything else at all you're involved in? No. Nothing. Well, John, it's been really fun talking to you, and we're going to uh, no, we're, we'll have you back uh, sometime when we uh, do our variety, or whatever. So thanks for coming by. Are the surgeons going to play a play a number now? Five, two. Well, just play one now, and we'll. All right, all right. Go ahead, ladies and gentlemen, the surgeons, and then we're going to be back with know your staff. Yay! Yay! sitting here now with uh, we're doing know your staff and I don't have a card made up for uh, know your staff but uh, this is Shane Newkirk here who's been a dedicated member of the WCHS staff for, for years yes. for lots lots of years yes. Shane uh, why uh, did you first get uh, involved in working on the show Cause you bring I that like mind. video cameras and so have you always been kind of interested in that kind of stuff yeah so uh, do you, have you had fun working on the show yes tons of fun Tons of fun. Now you've just kind of uh, what what's been your job? Just kind of uh, set things up and stuff. Do you hope to uh, be, start doing something else? I like I mean, your job. Would you like that in a couple of years? Yeah. All right. You know, it's, you're yeah. you're on, you're on the right track. But you know, you can't just wake up and be the next John Berkey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, but I'm sure uh, you're only a freshman, right? Yeah. Sure. By the time you uh get through the years, you have a good chance of this. What about uh, cameraman or something like that? Does that interest you? He could. Yeah, it interests What about working in the control room, those guys in there that uh, ha have all the headaches? Would you like to be in there? Too hot. Excuse, excuse me, I take a phone call. Okay. I, you, I hope I don't mind. Hello, WCHS Today, John speaking. Hello, who are you? Well, it's Mr. Agemeyer again. Mr. Agemeyer, did you, we got cut off before. What, what What's the deal? Oh, I don't know. Well, I guess I didn't insert the right amount of money. But Mr. Agamar, are you calling from a pay phone? No. <laughs> you, don't think you don't need to insert any money at all. Well, I wonder where the slot was. Um, <laughs> can you tell us where you're being held so we can come and find you? Well, hold on. Well, Mr. Agamar, Mr. Agamar, are you still, well. I'm here, I'm what, here. Yeah, where's <laughs> Yeah, Mr. Agamar, where are you being held? We, you know, we're right in the middle of the show. Well, I, I'm interviewing someone here, and, and you just called and interrupted. Here, wait, let me talk to Mike. He'll tell you. Mike, yeah. W yeah? Yeah. Okay, here's Mike. From yeah. what I heard, uh, 
yeah. apparently being held somewhere in Mongolia. Right there. Mongolia? Uh, Mongolia is located, uh, well, by China. These are WCHS Today visuals. Well, how are we going to get them out? Mr. Megamar, how are you going to get up there? <laughs> But uh, we're gonna try and we're gonna try and uh, I guess we're gonna try and get you back because we need you know you're on the show in a couple weeks. What? We'll send the WCHS today Learjet out to get you, and of course uh, Mr. Wilbur will be piloting that jet, so it probably won't get there. <laughs> and and Mr. Agemeyer, there will the jet will come complete with Kool Aid and a dustbuster. So don't worry. and cookies. Well, what are your favorite kind of cookies? <laughs> Well, what about your wife? Is she with you, or does she back at home? No, she's at home. Have, have you called her yet, or should we do that? <laughs> Guy doesn't know his own phone number. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Agemeyer, do you think maybe we'll call her after the show and let her know you're okay, okay, and that you're on your way home? Okay? Okay? All right, thanks a lot, Mr. Agemeyer. Goodbye. That was Mr. Agemeyer on the phone. Thanks a lot. He didn't reverse the charges, did he, Mike? <laughs> <laughs> Great. <Stupid>. Great. <laughs> Not stupid. Um, anyway, Shane, we were talking with you. Uh, what else uh, are you involved in besides the television show? I mean, this is only one night a week. Uh, drama club. club. Have you been in any, in any plays yet? Yes, I'm the light director. You're the light lighting director. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so uh, you're the whole head of the lights. So oh. do you have fun doing that? Right now, I'm not in. I'm not in the musical. Oh. I did it last oh. time. Oh, you worked on the play, but you're not yeah. working on the musical. But did you have fun doing that? Yeah. Do you ever uh, play around with our lights? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. Kind of, kind of check new angles. Um, like, I mean, I don't. You know, no. you could do that someday after school for fun, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> move the lights around, get the desired effects. You move our grid work around. It's grid work, not a rack. Grid work, right, Mr. Where? What I I I Mr. Agamar, I miss him so much I can almost hear his voice. <laughs> the last time he was in the studio, almost. Anyway, just not another. We we can't do this. We the show's almost over. Hello, WCHS today. Call from a Mr. Dennis Agamar, I don't think we can't take this call. We can't. I, what what do you guys say? Sorry, Mr. Agamar. Sorry, operator. We've only got 83 cents in the budget. We just we can't afford to collect call. You just have to tell. Uh, have uh, to Jeff, tell uh, Dennis. Don't you feel like dirt right now? No. Bye. Okay. Anyway, back to you, Shane. What? Uh, you worked on the play as lighting director. Um, what about any other clubs in school you're in? Well, there's Key Club. Why well, you didn't say that enthusiastically? You know, I was kicked out though. <laughs> like you're wedding. Really well, a key club it can be fun. No, key club does a lot of, <coughs> a lot of fun things. Um, what else are you in, uh, involved in? Well, there's school. There's school. How, do you like school? It's What's your first uh, semester of high school been like? It's pretty fun. It's better than school. Is it? What grade school did you go to? Washington grade and junior high. So you, uh, but you like high school better than that. How come? Well, you move around more, and the teachers are better. Teacher. <laughs> Wait, whoa. Good one. I think they're going to show this tape at the next teacher meeting. Well, how many teachers you bad mouth tonight, though? Maybe they won't show it at the next teacher meeting. Um, yeah, I know. That's, that's, yeah. So, Shane, I want to thank you uh, for coming out tonight, and uh, I hope you, uh, I won't be here next year to help you out, but uh, Mike will be kind of doing things, so you can, uh, I guess Brown knows him into getting good jobs. I, I wouldn't want to have to Brown knows him, but... Don't brown us. I'm just, just threatening him. Just threatening his life. Anyway, I want to uh, thank you for watching our little variety show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. And here are the surgeons as we go out. Good night. And one week from tonight, we have um, we have a good show. We have, um, what do we have? What do we have? Oh, uh, we have Key Club. Uh, no. Kids on the Block, people. We're going to puppets here in a show and everything. And, and then two weeks from tonight, Mr. Aguilar. Good night, everyone. And have a nice week.